Hello everyone, good afternoon. This is Hans Lee from Hiroshima University. Today I'd like to talk about evaluation and bias correction of marine surface wind in the western North Pacific from CME5 and the CME6 GCMs for wave climate modeling. This is actually a part of Liam's master thesis work, but unfortunately he could not join today's presentation. So this is the outline of today's contents from background all the way to the summary, summary and conclusion. The Western North Pacific, the study area, is considered as a region vulnerable to the variability and the changes in the surface wind wave climate. And then many studies have been done for wind wave modeling and then wind wave climate projection for the study area. Some of them investigated the relationship between uh, the teleconnection pattern and the wind waves in the Western North Pacific and found, reported that decreasing wave height trend in the future and its relationship with the Western Pacific pattern. In this kind of wind wave modeling and the projection studies, they use the uh, external forcing, which is marine surface wind, is mainly from, obtained from coupled model intercooperation project, CMIP, which is known as CMIP. And then CMIP-6 is the nearest data after the fifth phase, which is CMIP-5. And the CMIP-5 and CMIP-6 consist of mainly historical and then future projection part. And then both can be used uh, as advanced information in the future projections and then related research field. And the marine surface wind are one of the important output of the CMIP GCMs and it can be used as external forcings in the marine forecast and the wind wave modeling and their related, related research field. Therefore, we have some questions. How are the reliability of CMIP-5 and CMIP-6 marine surface winds in comparison with reference surface wind? Most of the previous literatures are using the CME 5 marine surface wind as an external forcing. Therefore, we are uh, wants to, we want to investigate the CME 5 marine surface wind in this study. Also, we try to uh, investigate the biases in the marine surface wind and then how to reduce those biases. Therefore, the objective of this study is to evaluate historical marine surface wind data set uh, retrieved from CME 5 and CME 6 by comparing those marine surface wind with the reference data set, uh, which is obtained from era interim realness data set in this study. Also, we applied the three bias correction method to reduce the marine surface wind biases. This is the study area, the Western North Pacific that we define. And then also we defined four sub-regions, JS, EJ, SJ, SEJ regions to investigate the marine surface wind characteristic further. And then as for the reference data set, as mentioned in the previous slide, we used the marine surface wind from era interim realness data set. This is a spatial resolution. And then we collect data set for the 30 years from January 1979 to December 2008. Then we collect daily data set and then we calculate monthly values from daily data set we, we obtained. This table shows the 59 ensemble from 29 GCM or from CME5 data set and then they are just like a varying spatial resolution for 30 years. Then this is table shows, the upper table shows the CME5 seven GCM and then there are 32 ensemble and there are spatial resolutions, varying spatial resolution. In this CME5 wind data analysis, we consider 35 years from January 1979 to December 2014. So this chart shows the overall analysis flow chart. First, we collect the CME5 and CME6 marine surface wind data set for historical and then which projection part and for each zonal and meridional wind component, due to the different difference to spatial resolution, we interpolated those data set in onto the common grid uh, spaces with the one degree by one degree resolution, and then we calculate the statistical indexes between the uh, CMIP GCM wind and the reference wind. Then we apply the bias correction method with the three, and then we finally get 
the corrected wind component, uh, zonal, meridional wind for historical and the forecasting part. Then we applied, use this one as external forcing the wind wave modeling. But today's presentation, we will talk about those wind data, marine surface wind data analysis part only. These are the five statistical indexes that we used. Bias, uh, coefficient of determin determination, R square, RMSE, uh, standard deviation, and index of work. Uh, for the bias correction method, we apply three, as mentioned. First one is variance scaling method. Second one, quantile mapping based on empirical cumulative density function. Then third one, quantile mapping based on variable distribution function. First result is about the semi-5 marine surface wind. This one shows the overall uh, the statistical indexes uh, between the multimodal ensemble surface wind and the area interim reference surface wind, marine surface wind. Then the colors indicating the biases, negative bias in blue and the positive bias in red. And then size of circle indicate the magnitude of the R square. And then each symbols with a different color indicate the highest or lowest statistical indexes. Uh, this uh, table shows the, the calculated statistical index values. As we can see, overall, we can find the overestimation of marine surface wind over the sea region. And then we have a generally underestimation of the surface wind in the inland region. And then we have a highest and lowest statistical indices almost in all GCM we can found those values in the near the uh, coastline mainly due to we think due to the coast resolution then we calculated 30 year monthly average wind components uh, zonal and meridional wind components for the whole western north pacific region and then interestingly we can found uh, the uh, underestimation of the semi fiber multimodal ensemble average wind compared to the era interim reference wind in red line. The gray line indicates each ensemble 30 year monthly average wind. The, on, the, on the other end, meridional wind component shows a general good agreement between the semi fiber multimodal ensemble surface wind and the era interim reference wind. Here, in this uh, chart, we can see the groups of some uh, zonal and meridional wind. They are mainly uh, uh, coming from inter-ensemble variation under the single GCM. Also, these are showing the intermodal variations of the wind component. And then, to investigate further, we see the, sub the wind marine surface wind characteristics uh, for each sub-region, JS, SJ, EJ, and SEJ region. The marine surface wind is generally overestimated during the winter time in JS region, and then generally underestimated in SJ region during the winter time. And, but EJ and the SEJ region, their general patterns are showing good agreement between the multimodal ensemble leveraged wind and the uh, reference wind. In terms of meridional wind, we have a generally uh, overall good agreement between the semi five multimodal ensemble wind and the reference wind, but still during the winter time we have uh, some overestimation in the in the JS region. We also calculate the wind vector, wind speed and directions for each sub region. The overall we have a good agreement between two semi five multimodal ensemble wind and the era interim uh, reference wind. And then we can see clearly the seasonal patterns of the surface wind. This slide shows the bias correction result. So this one shows the 30-year uh, monthly average wind of the era interim reference wind. And then this one shows the differences between the semi-5 multimodal ensemble average wind and era interim reference wind. We have a positive bias over the C part Generally, we can we have a, a, neg a negative biases over the inland part, and then here three panel shows the differences between semi five multimodal ensemble average wind after the bias correction and, and era interim reference wind, 
As we can see, after the bias correction applied, we have generally the bias is uh, much more reduced compared to the biases before bias correction. And then this chart shows the wind speed biases in terms of relative frequency. Before we apply the bias correction, the wind speed bias is rather evenly distributed between minus 0.5 to 1 meters per second. But after we apply the bias correction method, those uh, wind speed bias band uh, much more reduced and then focused around the zero. Uh, especially uh, the, when we apply the quantile mapping with the variable distribution function, the relative frequency peak were found, high peak were found around the zero. So therefore, the, we can see the biases are much more reduced when we apply the quantile mapping with the variable distribution function and the, which can be found in this spatial distribution. Their biases are much more reduced. And then even though we have a high negative biases, but their magnitude is still much lower than the before bias correction. Here we have a show the next CMIP6 minus surface wind result. We applied exactly the same analysis for the CMIP6 minus surface wind. Then, then in this chart, we can also see the overall uh, positive bias, which is a overestimation of the surface wind in the, over the sea region. And then highest and lowest static index is also found in the, the similar uh, areas between the island and the continent and then due to the mainly we think due to the resolution problem. Then we also calculate the multimodal ensemble average wind for each single GCM, 7 GCM, and then generally found also similar patterns. We have overestimation over the sea and then underestimation in the inland region. Then we also calculate the same 30 year monthly average wind component for uh, Zonal and meridional wind, but interestingly, we have found the overestimation of the CMIP6 multimodal ensemble average wind compared to the uh, era interim reference wind. But generally, in, the, in terms of the meridional wind, we have a very good co uh, agreement between the multimodal ensemble and then era interim reference wind. For the zonal wind, we do the same analysis. We found the overall overestimation during the winter time in JS region. In the other regions, more Generally, it shows good agreement. Medial wind generally shows good agreement between the multimodal ensemble and the reference wind. Wind vectors show the similar patterns. Then, good agreement between the multimodal ensemble and reference wind. And then, Taylor diagram shows the, the model performance of each individual's GCMs that is considered in the analysis from CMIP6. And then, multimodal ensemble values. Uh, from CME5 and CME6. As we can see, the uh, multimodal ensemble values uh, shows good, better performance than individual GCM from CME6. Therefore, the conclusion, we've uh, found that overall seasonal marine surface wind patterns clearly, and then we have an overall uh, general overestimation in the sea, and then underestimation over inland region land region and then interestingly zonal wind uh, uh, pattern the semi 5 multimodal ensemble wind are underestimated in the winter time but semi 6 uh, multimodal ensemble average wind are overestimated in the winter meridional wind however both semi 5 and semi 6 shows a good agreement between the uh, multimodal ensemble and reference data set then rather obvious that the intermodal variation in surface wind is much significant than Inter ensemble variation. Multimodal ensemble result is much more recommended to be used in the uh, wind wave modeling and projection rather than individual GCM and ensemble. Due to the time limited, we stop the presentation. Thank you very much for your attention.